In today's world, AI is rapidly transforming every aspect of our lives, from the way we work and travel to the way we interact with the world around us. But all these advancements require immense computational power, and that's where Dojo comes in. This isn't just any supercomputer, this is Tesla's Dojo, and it's being hailed as a game changer in the AI revolution. So what exactly is a supercomputer? Well, it's not just a really fast computer, it's more like a specialized tool designed for heavy-duty tasks. Supercomputers are like the superheroes of the computing world. They handle complex scientific calculations and large-scale data processing. Now, Tesla's Dojo is a game-changer in the supercomputer realm. But before we jump into why it's a big deal, let's understand that supercomputers are not your everyday PCs. They're more like scientific instruments, or crucial business tools, built from the same tech you find in your home computer, but on a much larger and more powerful scale. The first ever supercomputer, the Control Data Corporation 6600, emerged in 1964. It could perform 3 million floating point operations per second, flops, which is a fancy term for a type of mathematical calculation. To put it in perspective, that was a big deal back then. Fast forward to Tesla's dojo. This is not just about speed, it's about a unique approach to training artificial intelligence, AI. Dojo is like the secret weapon in Tesla's quest for autonomous vehicles. It's designed to train AI models faster and more efficiently. Why is Dojo so special? Traditional supercomputers follow a certain path, but Dojo takes a different route. It's tailored specifically for training AI, making it stand out in the world of supercomputing. This isn't just about Tesla, it has broader implications for the field of AI. Now, the fastest supercomputer we know of runs at 442 petaflops, which is a thousand trillion flops. That's about 10,000 times faster than your PS5. Tesla wants its dojo to be even faster, aiming for one exaflop. That's a quintillion flops. These are huge numbers, and supercomputers get ranked by an organization called the Top 500 Project. Right now, the top dog is Fugaku in Japan. But why do we need such powerful computers? Well, they help us solve really complicated problems. Imagine predicting the weather or understanding climate change. Scientists use high-performance computing to run simulations and make forecasts. It's like having a super smart assistant that can handle huge amounts of data. Tesla's Dojo is made specifically for one thing, training neural networks. This means it processes data from over a million Tesla cars on the road. The heart of Dojo is the D1 chip, Tesla's second chip after their FSD computer. The D1 chip is like a multitasker. It combines the CPU, GPU, neural engines, and memory cache all in one. A single D1 chip is crazy powerful, about 362 teraflops. Tesla assembles 25 of these chips on one tile, all on a single silicon wafer. Usually, companies put as many CPUs on a wafer as possible, then cut them out. But Tesla's doing something unique building a whole tile on one wafer. This is tricky because making chips is tough. Sometimes they don't work properly, and some end up being less powerful versions. At AI Day, Tesla revealed that Dojo is up and running at the tile level. A single tile is a powerhouse, reaching 9 petaflops. That's seriously impressive computing power. The magic happens because all the chips on the tile are connected through one top-quality piece of silicon, removing the need for messy external wires. Now Tesla is leveling up. They're aiming for the cabinet level, where 12 tiles work together in one system. This boosts Dojo's capacity to a whopping 100 petaflops. To put it in perspective, that's more than most supercomputers, but it's not the final form. Dojo is like our anime hero. It needs to power up to its ultimate version, called an exopod. This involves 10 cabinets working seamlessly together to perform some serious computational magic. Dojo is a game changer in the AI revolution for several reasons. First, it is designed to be incredibly efficient. 
Dojo's custom-designed AI chips are expected to be up to 10,000 times more efficient than conventional GPUs, which will allow it to train AI models much faster and with less energy. Second, Dojo is designed to be highly scalable. The supercomputer is modular, which means that it can be easily expanded to add more computing power as needed. This will allow Tesla to keep Dojo up to date with the latest AI research and meet the growing demand for AI computing power. Third, Dojo is designed to be cost effective. Tesla has not yet released the cost of Dojo, but the company has said that it expects the supercomputer to be significantly cheaper than other supercomputers of its size and performance. This will make Dojo more accessible to a wider range of users, including startups and academic institutions. So, when Tesla unleashed Dojo, some of us were cheering like Elon just dropped the most powerful computer bomb on us. However, the supercomputer experts weren't as impressed. The thing is, the power of a computer depends on how you measure it. Regular supercomputers use a standard called 64-bit floating point precision, FP64. Dojo's power is measured using three standards, BF16, CFP8, and FP32. These standards indicate the precision of the numbers the computer handles. In simpler terms, it's about how precise the calculations are. Imagine us rounding up big numbers in everyday life. It's like that. Most of the time, it doesn't practically affect our results. For example, when calculating the area of a circle, we might use 3.14 for pi, even though the real pi goes on forever. It's just easier. Google did something similar with their machine learning system using BFloat16, a 16-bit floating point format for their tensor processing unit. Tesla takes it a step further with their format, Configurable Float8, CFloat8, which uses an 8-bit floating point. It's even more streamlined, saving on memory, storage, and bandwidth. Dojo will only run at full capacity using these low bitrate formats. This means it becomes the top dog for AI training and machine learning, but not the go-to for general purpose tasks like climate forecasting or launching a cyber attack. But that's perfect for Tesla. They're all about solving the autonomous vehicle puzzle. Once they conquer that, who knows? Maybe Dojo will tackle other challenges. The tech world is complex, and standards and compatibility are just a part of the puzzle. Tesla's move with Seafloat 8 adds another layer of complexity to the mix. If other big players, like Google or NVIDIA, want their models to vibe with Dojo's groove, they'll need to add support for Tesla's Seafloat 8 in their next-gen hardware. While it's a smart strategy, the actual implementation and adoption in the industry can be a nuanced and challenging process. Tech companies will need to decide if they're up for the Tesla dance or if they'll keep following their own rhythm. That's all for today. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos about AI, technology, and other interesting topics. Thanks for watching.